Jabsco sells a Viton replacement valve kit for the Parmax 3 and Parmax 4 pumps. Viton is the ideal material for use in chlorine environments. In the next few minutes, I will demonstrate how to replace the standard valves with the new chlorine resistant valves. The change out typically only takes a few minutes. After closing the seacock and disconnecting all plumbing and electrical connections, place the pump on a convenient work surface. Mark a reference line across the pump's upper housing, lower housing, and motor. This will aid in reassembly. Unscrew the four bolts in the pump's upper housing using a 5 16 hex socket. Do not completely remove the bolts from the housing. Be sure to have a towel handy for any water that leaks out. With a gentle rocking motion, remove the housing assembly. Next, remove the existing valve block. In some cases, the valve block will be stuck in the upper housing. If this happens, simply take a screwdriver and gently free it. You're now ready to install the new Viton valve block. Make sure that the small Viton O-ring is properly seated in the center of the valve block. If necessary, replace the four bushings with the new ones that came with the valve kit. Note, the bushings have a taper on one end. Make sure the taper faces the same direction as the old ones, toward the pump's upper housing. Position the new valve block, center diaphragm facing up, over the wobble plate seal, making sure it seats properly. Using the reference marks you made earlier, Align the pump's upper housing, lower housing, and motor. Loosely tighten the four bolts. Lastly, do a final tightening of the bolts. You're now ready to place the pump back into service. Reconnect the plumbing and power connections. Open the seacock, check for leaks, and test the pump. Congratulations, you have installed the Viton valve kit.